Hi everyone, my name is Julia Entoven and I'm one of the creators of Kapwing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom logo with a transparent background using a free online tool. Okay, so you're going to start out here on google.com um, and just open Kapwing, so K-A-P-W-I-N-G. Kapwing is an online image and video editor, and so I'm going to show you how to make your logo using this free image and video tool. Um, this is the home page. Um, if it's your first time uh, coming here, you'll see that original page with that Get Started button. Um, if you have signed into Kapwing before, then you'll see your workspace um, showing up here. So here is my workspace. I'm going to go ahead and start with the studio. So I'll just click New Project and start with the studio. Now I'm in my studio. Now I want to make a logo with a transparent background. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a blank canvas um, to design my logo from scratch. Okay, if you have a specific size that you want your logo to be, you can go ahead and enter your, the size of your logo here. Um, in this case, I want my logo to be 100 pixels by 100 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that custom size here and click Done. Now my canvas is resized so the output will be 100 by 100. Keep in mind it's pretty small, so I'm going to want to take up this whole size about with my design, my pixel design. The second crucial step of designing your logo is to remove the background so that it comes out transparent. So I'm going to do that by in this background bo uh, box here in the right hand panel. I'm going to go ahead and click this um, no background, this transparency button. And you'll see that this sort of checkerboard color fills up the canvas, meaning that the background is going to be transparent. It isn't going to have any anything else in it um, when I um, when I create my logo. Okay, so the third step is to design your custom logo here. If you already have like a PNG that you want to use, um, you can upload that PNG here. But in my case, I don't have an existing logo, so I'm actually going to design a custom logo from scratch. So logos generally have two components. They have visual images, like imagery, and they also have text that says the name of your business. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and add um, text here. I'm using this text tool in the main toolbar. You'll see the sample text shows up. In this example, just for the sake of example, I'm gonna pretend that I own a bakery and that I'm making a logo for my bakery. Um, so I want my logo to have sort of text down here and then have the main uh, image up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, what that I want the text to be, which is like, um, maybe I'll say like Julia's um, Bakery. You can enter whatever the name is of your small business or of your like brand or, sh or store um, here. Remember again, that this is a pretty small canvas, so I want to make the text big so that it shows up in the final output. Then I'm just going to customize how I want this text to look. So um, I can go ahead and change the font here. Um, I'm going to explore all the way through um, uh, Kapwing's huge font library. There's thousands of fonts in Kapwing's library. Um, you might have to wait a second for the fonts to load. You can see they haven't quite loaded yet. Um, but I'm just going to wait a second for that to happen. Um, let's see here. I have one kind of up here. They've all loaded. Excellent. Okay. Now that all the fonts have loaded, I'm just going to browse through and find one that I think is representative of sort of what I want my um, bakery to stand for, which is something that's kind of approachable, but also classy, has some like fun snazziness to it. This one's kind of fun, black and white picture. This one, Bon Bon, is kind of cute. Um... I'm going to keep going, wait for these to load down here. Ooh, this bungee shade would be good for like an adventure company, but not quite right for my bakery. Um, let's see here. Maybe I'll try calligraphy. Callig Calligraffiti. This one's like a little too fancy for my bakery. I want something more approachable than that. So I'm going to keep trying to find one. Anyways, you can either, if you have an existing font in mind, you can either search for it here or you can continue to browse through until you find one. Um, I had one in mind. Let's try that um, that one I just saw that I thought looked pretty fun. The um, where is that one? Oh no, now I've lost it. Uh, this Bon Bon one. Okay, Julia's Bakery. Um, so now I'm just going to make this the color that I want. Um, so I'll select it here. If you have a custom hex value, you can enter it here for your brand. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use um, a different or one of these sample colors. Maybe I'll try. Um, this sort of dark green or green blue color. Great, so now my green's been selected. Um, you can see that the text has a white outline. Um, you can remove that if you want to here, just um, play around with sort of what you want your, um, your logo to look like. I'm gonna keep that white background so that it shows up on just about any image or picture or video. Um, then I'm not sure, I wanna create sort of like, I wanna put sort of like a picture of like a cupcake or something here. So I'm gonna go ahead and search 
in the images tool here in the main toolbar. This lets you search the open web for um, imagery that you can use in your, um, in your logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and search here for um, cupcake background or cupcake PNG maybe. That'll give me sort of a transparent um, picture. So this searches the open web. You can see here that there's um, all sorts of different kinds of cupcakes that are on the open web. Um, let's see here. Maybe I'll use something like, let's see. I want something that will look good on my teal. So maybe I'll use this pink cupcake here and I'm just gonna make it small enough so that it fits in the position that I want it to. Great, if I had like a picture, I could also use that instead. I'm just gonna, and then I'm just gonna complete my custom design. So sort of size things out the way that I want them to look. And the last tool I'll show you for making your logo design is this shapes tool. Um, you can click on the shapes tool to access this um, set of, of default shapes that you can use and adjust. I'm gonna use this circle tool to go behind the um, cupcake and make it a, um, make it the color of green, the same color of green as the text. Um, so I'll go ahead and fill it with that color of green, and I want that line to be white, just like the text. There it is. I'm just going to go ahead and make this smaller so I have some white space. Great. Um, and I want to move this backward so that it's behind the cupcake layer. So I click on that layer, and I click Send Backward to bring the cupcake forward. I'm going to make the cupcake a little bit smaller. Great. And then the last step is once your preview looks correct, what your logo preview you know looks like you want it to, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger you go ahead and click this publish button, this big uh, pink publish button in the corner. You go ahead and click that. And just about instantly your logo will load. So you can see here's like a hundred by a hundred, a very small version of that, um, of that logo. I can download that 100 by 100 version here. Um, if I wanna go back and make a higher resolution version, I just click edit and I can change this to be say uh, 400 by 400, done. And then publish that. And there's the higher resolution version. Um, so that is how you create a custom logo with a transparent background online using this free online tool called Kapoing. Um, hope this helps you figure out all of your logo editing problems. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.